Today's video is on shifting properties from jet transforms. So let me explain you what are the shifting properties. See here, if f of n is shifted to right, what happens? As you know, that z transform of f of n is equal to capital F of z. Till now, it's okay. Then z of f of n minus k. So this f of n is shifted to right side. Then the value will be z bar minus k into f of z. See, if you keep k is equal to 1 here, then z transform of f of n minus 1 can be written as z bar minus 1 into f of z. So if you keep k is equal to 2, then z transform of f of n minus 2 is equal to z bar minus 2 into f of z. So this is about shifting to the right side. And let's talk about shifting to left side. Suppose if f of n is shifted to left side. So the formula is, as you know, that z transform of f of n is equal to capital F of z. Then z transform of f of n plus k is equal to, see here, it is a recurrence formula, z bar k into capital F of z minus f of 0 minus f of 1 into z inverse minus f of 2 into z bar minus 2 and so on till f of k minus 1 into z bar minus of k minus 1. See here, if you note these formulae, so it will be very easy. So first of all, if it is shifted to one unit, z of f of n plus 1. See here, this will be z power 1, f of z minus f of 0. If it is shifted to two units, that is z of f of n plus 2, this will be z square, f of z minus f of 0 minus z inverse into f of 1. If it is shifted to 3 units, that is z of f of n plus 3, this will be z cube, f of z minus f of 0 minus z inverse f of 1 minus z power minus 2 into f of 2. So, it is very easy to remember. See here, if it is shifted to 1 unit, so this is z power 1, only uh, till 0 it is left. And if it is shifted to 2 units, this is z square and f of 0 minus z inverse into f of 1. If it is shifted to 3 units, then this will be z cube. There are 3 terms here. That is f of 0, z inverse f of 1, z to the power of minus 2 into f of 2. So, using the shifting property, so there is an important formula property here. So, we have to find out the jet transform of sine of n plus 1. So, here it is shifted towards left side for 1 unit. That is n plus 1 into theta and cos of n plus 1 into theta. First of all, as you know that, see here, first of all, we have to take f of n. So, I am taking f of n is equal to sin power n theta. And clearly, f of 0 is sin 0 is nothing but 0. And we have to shift this f of n to 1 unit. So, we, have, we need the z transform of f of n. So, z transform of f of n is nothing but capital F of z according to our definition. Therefore, z transform of sin n theta. I made a video on this. Z transform of n theta is nothing but See here, z sin theta by, so this value is z square minus 2z cos theta plus 1. Clear? Now, according to our shifting formula, according to our shifting formula, I am shifting towards 1 unit. Therefore, according to our shifting formula, z of f of n plus 1 can be written as, this is z power 1 capital F of z minus this is f of 0. So, this is f of 0. See clear? So, this is z power 1 f of z minus f of 0. So, we have all the values ready here. So, if I substitute each and every value, then see what happens. This is z of sine of n plus 1 of theta. Clear? This is z power 1 what is f of z? So, f of z is nothing but, so this value is f of z. That is, z into sin theta by this value is z square minus 2z cos theta plus 1. What is f of 0? f of 0 value is 0. So, it is very clear and according to our shifting towards right side, the value of z of sin of n plus 1 of theta value is nothing but z into z z square sin theta by this is a z square minus 2z cos theta plus 1. So, this is how we have to solve. 
and the next solution is for the second one is cos of n plus 1 into theta first of all we have to take f of n value so what is f of n so f of n is very clear as cos of n theta so what will be cos 0 so cos 0 value is 1 and next one we have to find out the z transform of f of n f of n is nothing but capital f of z and see here z transform of cos of n theta i made a video on this please now watch the playlist and definitely it will be very clear and this is nothing but z square minus z cos theta by the denominators are same z square minus 2z cos theta plus 1 and see so this value is nothing but f of z and clearly according to our shifting problem according to our shifting towards uh, right side that is see here z transform of f of n plus 1 is nothing but z power 1 into capital f of z minus f of 0 so if i substitute everything here if i substitute what i need is z transform of cos of n plus 1 into theta is nothing but z power 1 what is f of z f of z value is nothing but this is z square minus z cos theta by this value is z square minus 2z cos theta plus 1 minus f of 0 f of 0 is nothing but cos 0 value is 1 and see cos 0 value is 1 so if I take LCM here, then this will be, see here, this is Z and this value is Z square minus 2Z cos theta plus 1. If I take as an LCM, this will be Z square minus Z cos theta. So here, this will be minus Z square plus 2Z cos theta and this is minus 1. So which one I have to cancel? So I can cancel this one Z square and z square and what remains 2z minus z is 1 2z minus z so this will be see here this will be z times of this is z cos theta minus 1 by z cos theta minus 1 by this is z square minus 2z cos theta plus 1 our final answer will be if i multiply with z so this will be z square cos theta minus minus z minus z by and this is z square minus 2z cos theta plus 1 and see here so this is the answer so this value is the final answer for cos of so cos of n plus 1 into theta z transform of n plus 1 into theta is nothing but see here this is z square so this is z, z square cos theta minus z by z square minus 2z cos theta plus 1 is the final answer. And this is how we have to use the shifting properties. And this is also the most important question, asked question. And therefore, please practice and pass it on to your friends. And definitely, I am going to upload few more questions related to the shifting property. And please do follow and send it to your friends. Thank you so much.